A new Star Citizen patch hit the PTU. This time around, it's the Star Citizen Alpha 3.20.0A has been dropped into the PTU. Right now, it's currently available to all backers. Um, it has a lot of known issues, and um, one in particular is regarding the hall C being unable to undock. And the workaround that they have available here is first, if the hall C has cargo as a part of its end of flow, try and request detach via the cargo center rather than the regular ATC. If the hall C doesn't have cargo, make sure the spindles are collapsed and then store, retrieve again, and request via the regular ATC on the movie glass comms. Once again, it does have uh, quite a bit of known issues, so, but in this video, we're gonna go through the bug fixes. So the first one is they fix an issue which causes an inventory to become corrupted and not load in the PU. The Mirai Furry paint and decal should now display correctly. They fix multiple issues causing the audio desync or become fully blocked during gameplay. We did notice this the other night actually with my crew so I'm glad to see this fix in. They fix an issue causing players to sometimes be relocated while standing in a hangar. They fix the client crash when scrolling armor in the player inventory. They fix an issue causing the saber variants to show the bug mode arrows, now thrusters when reverse strafing. Before I move forward, I'd like to new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of September. This time is the Aurora MR. If you'd like to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of September. Let's move on. They fixed an issue where the players could only sell one SCU of each type of loose cargo during Junk Town. Disable non-owner bedlog in the Hall C to fix the ship disappearing when someone other than the owner uses bed log. So that's an interesting bug. They fixed the attached Constellation Snow Fighter being spawned in a vertical position. Man, that sucks. Along with this, they have three client crash fixes, two server crash fixes, a missing shader cache issue fix, and a major server memory leak fix. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.